Corey, it's been a quite a journey to get back to the big leagues. I know in the last four years you've had a lot of support from the Mar Marion local community. What has it been like for you as you've rehabbed and gone through all these surgeries? Uh, it's just been good to be back, honestly. I think uh, there were some days you didn't know if this would happen again, and uh, you don't have an opportunity back a little closer to home, so I could, you know, get to see the family and uh, be around my friends a little more. It's been a, it's been a good situation. Certainly, landing with the Pirates, a contending team, a good situation for you as well. Yeah, I think going into camp, I didn't know what to expect, I and mean, it's a, uh, you know, I think they were one of the best bullpens in the league last year, and uh, you don't have an opportunity to break camp and help these guys out. Uh, it's been uh, been exciting for me. How important is it for you to get to work with Ray Searage, somebody who's kind of had a, a reputation of being a little bit of a, of a master of reclamation projects? Not necessarily that you're a reclamation project, but coming back from the injuries. Yeah, I mean, it's been, you know, it's only been a few weeks, but <laughs> we're, we've already got a few things we're working on between Ray and Yuki, our bullpen coach. Uh, been surrounded by some great pitching minds, so it's, uh, it's a good place to be. So far, elbow feeling pretty good? good I think uh, you know last night we got up a few times and uh, you know the big thing was just seeing how it rebounds and uh, it's been doing well all camp so now back in a little bit closer to home as you mentioned playing this weekend in, in Cincinnati I'm sure there's been plenty of folks who've come down from Maria Stein and Mercer County for these games yeah seeing a few saw a few people last night I got some family all coming down today it's just gonna be interesting to see which jerseys they're wearing <laughs> so we'll see how that goes as you're on this comeback, where did you get your strength? Well, it was three and a half years of, you know, a lot of strenuous shoulder, elbow, kind of all the work. So just, um, you know, I was lucky to be surrounded by some good therapists and uh, some people that were willing to work as hard as me to help get me back. So, uh, you know, I think um, – the guy used out in Arizona, Alan Gruber was his name, was uh, very good. And, uh, you know, I was lucky that that worked out for me. So, Velocity wise, where are you as opposed to where you were? You know, I think, it's, you know, it's early. Part, but, uh, at this point, is it almost more of a mental thing, getting your, your mind ready to pitching almost every other day if need be? Yeah, a lot of it's just reps. You know, I when I did my hamstring in camp this year, it cost me about four and a half weeks of, you know, my spring training and getting ready and working out some bugs. And, uh, you know, the amount of time I've been off, there's just been some, you know, growing pains, getting back into it. So I think uh, we're going to we we'll keep working on it. We try to get a little work in every day, but at the same time not overdo it because, you know, we got to be able to save some save some for later in the year too. So Finally, all the success Marin Local has had football-wise. When's that going to rub off on, bat on the baseball program? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Casey Witt, the new head coach there, um, you know, I met with him this offseason a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'm excited for the program. they got somebody in there with a lot of energy, and uh, I think he's going to get the kids working. So, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes.